Hi there, it's so great to see you. By now you've seen how the Canon M50 performs and you've got your hands on one and you've discovered, like me, that it's super light. It weighs in at just 509 grams or 18 ounces and you're now wondering, well, what do I carry it around with? How do I stabilize it and how do I mount it? Join me as we run through the options for carrying, mounting and stabilizing your M50 and it begins with understanding what this camera is for. At just 509 grams, it is so lightweight, it's often described as the perfect travel camera. It's also a camera that you can just pull out at any time. It's almost a pocket camera. It almost fits in the pocket. Not quite, but pretty close. And so when it comes to choosing how you're gonna carry it around and uh, how you're gonna mount it, you're also gonna want something that's pretty light and pretty mobile. In episode two, I came here with this tripod and this lens set to 15 mil. And I needed this tripod because it gives me the distance and the space in the frame to capture all that background detail. And so my face isn't fully in the screen and you can't see flies like this all up close. If instead I'd used a really small tripod, something like this little handle, you would be in roundabout there, which is a completely different look and I'm probably out of focus. You can get this effect with this tripod, but you can't get this effect with this tripod. This camera is asking for a way to be carried around. It's lightweight, so it doesn't want a bulky tripod like this. To mount the Canon M50 on this and carry it around, can't really see it. Pretty useful in a studio. Um, a tripod like this, super steady, uh, good movement, fantastic. But the Canon M50 asks to be moved around. It works really well for shots like this where you're approaching the camera and you've got that background setting the scene. Or you can set the camera higher to get a better overview of your background. Am I, am I in the way of the waterway? Even though this tripod only goes up to my belly button, this lens splays the view outwards. So as I move back, more of my body comes into frame. This tripod looks very cheap and it was very cheap. It was less than $15 Australian. And one of the main benefits to it is it weighs just 337 grams, which means if I put the Canon M50 on it, it weighs less than a combined total of 850 grams. That is phenomenally light for a camera tripod setup. I have the M50 on this tripod 90% of the time. It's there most of the time. And whenever I look around at a surface, I can quickly find where my camera is because I treat this like a handle. So when I'm filming, it's like a handle. When I pick it up, it's like a handle. When it goes into my bag, it's a handle. And I pull it out, it's a handle. One of the great things about it is that it is really quick to set up. So my beach shots from episodes one and two, I just carried my camera down. I was talking to my camera directly. When I got to where I needed to get to, straight out onto the sand, film my segment, clack it up, close it up, and then I'm back to filming and again. That speed of operation is massive. It just means you can get onto the next thing really quickly. You don't have to think too much about this and all, you're away. If I'm on uneven ground, if there's rocks around or a curb or a gutter, then all I do is I set my tripod up basically where I want it. I put at least one leg on something and then I just extend them out until they, the other legs out until they hit something, lock them off and say that hits a rock right here, lock it off. Now it's in position, it's set. I find it super stable. Sometimes if I'm on uneven ground or a small item, I can close it up more and I can just stand it up like that. Again, because the Canon M50 is so light, it'll maintain that position and it won't fall over. And I just trust this kind of tripod a whole lot more than a flexible tripod, which I find can fall over all the time. And they just take more time and effort to set up, are more clunky in the hand, my hand's quite large, so I find this really easy to grip and doesn't slip or slide. So holding those three is really firm for me. That might be different for you if you've got a smaller hand. 
There's no mechanical stabilization in the Canon M50, so you need to explore other options to stabilize your footage. We know that the electronic in-body stabilization is terrible in the Canon M50, so let's look at some other options. There's a few techniques you can use to stabilize your tripod. One is to hold it like a steady cam and just find the, the balance point and just use a couple of fingers. And as you move that around, then you tend to be reasonably steady, especially if you can add some extra weights to the feet of your tripod. Uh, I tend not to do that. Another way is just to grip the, the, the uh, tripod and if you can somehow lock your other arm with your other hand, form a bit of a triangle, you're great. Unfortunately, with this lens set at 15mm, you've got to be right out there, so that's not an option. Wider lenses will be more forgiving. Obviously, some of the Canon lenses are stabilized. This 15 to 45mm lens is stabilized mechanically within the lens. Unfortunately, some of the other EFM lenses aren't stabilized. The 22mm is not stabilized. I don't think the 32mm is stabilized. And that's a real shame because they could be really magic lenses on this camera. And they are fantastic lenses, but you need to pretty much lock them off. There's a lot happening in cinematography at the moment. Drones, gimbals, steady cams, And a tripod might not seem like the fanciest piece of equipment, but you can get drone-like effects with a tripod and with this tripod. I'll show that to you. you extend out all legs. and hold it up high and away from you and pull it down to get the shot. Extend one of the legs and hold it quite loosely with the camera on the base. And as I walk around that base acts as a bit of an anchor and we have a, a steady cam view to the footage. I mean it's not a perfect steady cam but it's pretty close. Generally you need to balance your glide cam every time you use it if your camera is not permanently attached there and for that reason I'm not a big fan of them. I will use this again there are times where I need to have that smooth footage but otherwise I think the Canon M50 being so small so compact it's hard to justify throwing this in a backpack for a hike when I can just take the camera and maybe a tripod like this. I love having a camera up high on a glide cam and pulling it down and then coming into a shot that's intimate like this. It's magic. It gives kind of like a drone-like effect with that added quality of the Canon M50. I find gimbals pretty similar to glide cams. Not so much in that they smooth out footage, but more the setup and pack down time is pretty similar. You always have to do some customization with a gimbal. They're not that easy to move around. And just like a glide cam, when you're actually holding it, it looks a bit weird, it looks a bit out of the ordinary, and it can change how people behave around it. Generally, I prefer to have my camera set up on a tripod. It's in a static spot, and I know the camera is going to be perfectly stable when it's perfectly still. Otherwise, I'll move it around as I'm talking directly to camera uh, and I will use a glide cam very rarely. I like to modify my equipment to suit the way I film. 